Hey guys, so we're live again and I'm hanging out in Discord, so just to let you know if you guys want to, feel free to stop on in and have a chat while we're doing the stream. Always like to hear input live as I'm streaming live as well. So tonight though is on painting techniques for rads and just mods in general, I guess. I didn't want to just leave it to rads only, it seemed kind of lame. So we're just going to talk about painting and techniques and whatnot tonight, any tips and tricks. I actually just read someone's comment on the Facebook post about uh, a brand of paint, so I'll definitely have to mention that because it was it was definitely a good uh, bit of advice there. So I really appreciate you guys who do uh, hang out with me on and everyone else on Facebook as well as Discord and all that good stuff. It's really nice to see everyone contribute to the community like that. Just like uh, what I think it was, uh, yeah, Jason. Jason commented on the post, so. Like I said, if you guys just keep sharing great advice like that, it's going to make it a much better place. So, I guess we could probably just start talking about paint, as fun as that sounds. But I think, in a way, it's interesting to all of us if we're modders and whatnot. So, switch the camera here. I just have a bunch of stuff out. was kind of going to show you. And I do have a little video for you of uh, me doing some painting. I posted it on Facebook like a couple days ago, but some of you might have missed it, so we can go over that again tonight. Overall though, uh, this is just kind of some stuff that I painted as well as just what I use to paint. So one thing to painting, I've said it before, I have kind of covered this a little bit before, but just to reiterate, you guys always definitely want to make sure you do the prep work required for painting. Like sanding is definitely a huge deal. Like uh, you can't always use a uh, palm sander or something like this or electric sander, but uh, they're cheap, so I would always have one around just for sanding down stuff. It saves a lot of time from doing it by hand, but um, otherwise doing it by hand works as well, too. It's just uh, a little more elbow grease is all. So pick up a sander if you don't have one. Um, definitely always have some sandpaper around. I actually have just some rougher stuff. I should get some finer stuff. This is 220 and 150. In all honesty, like if you're actually really trying to get like the perfect finishes on like metal and whatnot or even acrylic, you're going to want to like sit there and get your 600 and 800 and 1,000 out and uh, keep kind of just buffing it out basically is what you're doing at that point. But uh, just for getting the basics down and like uh, how I did with this radiator here is when I got this, I could show you as a picture. I, I bought this used, so it was all kind of dinged up and everything. So like you could see like some brass on the ends here and a little bit of the scratches and the steel uh, on the side there. So what I did is I mainly used the palm sander, but I just took the palm sander and sanded it down with some 220. And like I said, 220 might be a little bit rough. You guys might want to get like 250 or 300 to start on finer materials, I guess, like brass and whatnot. But uh, just sanding off all the old paint, just because it was so chipped up, starting painting on something that's all chipped up, you're just not going to get what you want out of it. Usually you won't get a clean finish. So it's best kind of just to start over at a certain point. So that's what I did, and that turned out pretty good. So I guess I can roll that video for you guys as I talk more about this. But what's up, dude? John Urban Explores, and we got TCG Meta in here and on Sweet Ice Tea. But on Sweet Ice Tea isn't hanging out in Discord like he usually does. But oh well. So uh, as you can see, I just have it like hanging in a garage. So it's a heated garage because I do live up north. So you always want to make sure you keep the whatever you're painting in the right temperature, as well as like wind and stuff. If you can keep it out of the wind while you're painting, it'll definitely help you guys a lot, get more even coats. And that's all I'm doing for the base coat there. It looks a little bit thicker, but in all honesty, it's just one coat over all of it. I made sure that it, I got pretty good coverage. Uh, I don't know, as you can see, I'm just like holding the can a good foot or so away. Oh, there he joins up. What's up on Sweet Ice Tea? But, uh... So you just hold the can a decent 6 to 12 inches away, and as someone else was mentioning, there's better brands of paint, but that's just some Rust-Oleum. <laughs> Bob is crazy for all the paint. <laughs> um, sorry, that was Rod commenting about painting, but uh, we've got Rust-Oleum here, which is what I mainly use just because it's cheap and readily available, but uh, there are some other brands that you can use that are better 
Um, so just kind of try out what works for you. I've really never had too many issues with Rustoleum as long as you don't go overboard on it. You can kind of see it in between coats there, and the finish is pretty good. I'm using a satin, so it's not supposed to be super shiny by any means, and there really isn't too much orange peel at all as far as I can see, so I think it turned out all right. But I think the video's nearly done here. Hanging a rad is definitely useful, and we sell like uh, Hardware Labs rad hangers at uh, PVCs, but that was just some mechanics wire and a piece of acrylic that slots in there and then uh, also if you guys didn't notice I had cardboard in there that's another thing that I would recommend I mean it's not the worst to get paint on your fins but it will technically reduce the performance of your radiator by covering the fins with a layer of paint so I'd recommend just kind of covering it up and it keeps you from bending more fins because as you can already see this red has some bent fins and whatnot so yeah just the less that happens the better um, I guess I could kind of just go over restoring an old radiator, but I kind of covered that with sanding it down, and then when I did get this, it was a little bit more bent up than it is, so I just took like a little screwdriver just like this and kind of bent the fins back. Um, as long as you don't like put a lot of force on them or anything, you're not going to break them. Uh, sometimes they don't want to bend back, so I guess I won't force anything, but it's really not a big deal by any use radiator. They don't change that much, so... And in all honesty, this radiator looks just as good as this brand new one that uh, Cable Mod Matt kindly gave me. So this is a brand new Hardware Labs one, which does have their... Is it called Black Matter anymore? Do you know on Sweet Ice Tea? Dark Matter? Shit, I always forget what it is. But they have whatever their finish is, and it's just this flat black. It's a matte, matte black, I believe, uh, powder coat. And if you got something like this and you wanted to paint it, Honestly, I wouldn't do anything more than like use like a Brillo pad like this to just like scuff up the surface if you can use a, like a rattle can to paint it. Because like I said, this is a powder coat, so it's already a really good coat of paint on there. So I would do at most just rough up the surface. I wouldn't really worry about trying to take off all the paint just because it's not a bad coat of paint at all. Like this one had chipped up paint, so I, it's kind of better to start over. Do I have you like muted on Sweet Ice Tea? Because I can't even hear you, bro. Maybe. No? You're typing in Twitch chat. What are you doing, homie? It's my mic. Oh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> you didn't have to join. Like, I didn't mean to inconvenience you like that. <laughs> I just meant usually you're chilling. <laughs> Discord doesn't like it. Uh, fair enough. But, um, as I was saying, I just used some Rosolian paints here. This is... I prefer honestly for most things just a satin finish just because it's not quite as flat as an actual uh, matte is and I really don't like glossy finishes either so it's sort of in between and it's sort of okay for fingerprints um, this is just a semi-gloss clear which is semi-gloss is kind of like a satin it's pretty similar to be honest not much difference um, I do try to use clear coat on stuff when I can I don't think I did on this radiator, but like with Matt's, uh, came on Matt's front panel here for his Nano S, I did put a couple coats of clear coat on it, which I think will definitely usually save the finish a little bit. As um, Jason was commenting about paint, there was some other automotive paint still that, that do have a much harder finish than Rust-Oleum, because like I said, rust is cheap and readily available, so if you do uh, more research and stuff and, you know, even order paint especially, you can definitely find better options than Rust-Oleum. But if you're on a budget and you just need to paint something quick, it's probably pretty easy to find Rust-Oleum wherever you're at. And it works good enough. I wouldn't like guarantee that this stuff isn't going to scratch or anything. You still want to be careful with it just because it is you know, a delicate component to a certain degree and the paint really isn't the greatest. So it's supposed to just sit on your computer. I wouldn't just play around with it. But... This was pretty simple to do as far as front panel goes. Another item that you always want is painter's tape, but I'm pretty sure anybody that does their own painting knows that. Um, taping things off and using... I find that the blue tape does actually hold a little bit better of a line or an edge, so I don't know. That's up to you. You can buy cheaper tape than that, too. And mechanics wire. Mechanics wire is super cheap, and you can use it to hang, st hang stuff, and uh, hanging that always helps. Um, for the standoffs for Matt's thing, I actually just put these in a piece of cardboard, so that'll make it easy to paint. I gotta paint them white. Uh, 
So that's pretty simple. Usually I do use something like a Brillo pad to rough up something brass like this. But like I said, guys, just kind of do as much prep work as you can before you paint it. Make sure the surface is at the very least clean uh, of like any fingerprints and oils and stuff. You don't want to be handling all your mods. See you later, Unsweet Ice Tea. Sorry you couldn't uh, chill for any longer. What's up, Jason? Crylon was primer in it, go. Yeah, dude, Crylon is also just another brand that's usually pretty readily available, and it really shouldn't be bad. It's really more about just holding the can at the right distance and getting even coats. And I usually wait a good 30 minutes or more between a coat, 30 minutes to an hour. And uh, you just want to make sure it's not like super tacky still when you when you uh, get the next coat on there. Uh, just because if you paint over a wet layer of paint, you're way more likely to have orange peel happen, which I don't know some people like it, but I guess usually you don't go after orange peel. And uh, you guys can take a look at this rat. It's been kind of scuffed a little bit ever since I got it, but there really is no orange peel. And this is seriously, it actually wasn't, this is lacquer paint, which is a lot thinner than actual paint. And it actually kind of works better for acrylics and stuff. But this was just the regular paint just like this. And I mean, it's like $3 a can and I really didn't get much orange peel at all. As far as I can tell, it's, it's a really smooth finish. So if you just do the prep work and, like I said, just get nice, smooth, even coats, you usually don't have too many issues. So I don't know if anybody else had questions about painting and all that jazz, but it is kind of a simple topic. Um, as I was kind of showing you, we got Matt's front panel pretty much done here. I'm just waiting for Jeremy to send the actual acrylic insert that we got done. I kind of talked about that a bit more on uh, Monday night. And how to get that done but uh you guys will see this all finished up very soon hopefully it looks pretty good i think it will that uh, front panel that jeremy laser cut is uh on its way and it looks pretty mighty fine in my opinion talk to you later john's tech have a good night man so i don't know it was a pretty simple topic tonight and I guess there really probably isn't too many questions on painting, but I know Hank did want me to cover painting, and you guys will definitely see more painting, just because I always feel like painting is a pretty simple uh, way to mod, if you do want to say it's modding. Um, it can be, in a way, I guess. If you actually do have to take things apart and like tape it off and get your own design there, I would have to say that's definitely modding. Um, speaking of like designs and stuff, when I am painting on acrylic, I usually do use um, vinyl sticker paper, and I'll usually like print a logo or a design on there, and then cut that out with a. Uh, What's up, Drew? It's a visual mutt. Well, yeah, and like I said, if you actually take the time and like, either just like even tape off some like geometric lines or shapes or whatever in there, but you can also use that vinyl sticker paper to like put whatever pattern you want on that, and just an exacto knife, and I mean that's like ten dollars worth of stuff, and you can kind of customize any kind of paint job you want with logos and just designs and whatnot, and that actually takes time. So in my opinion, that would be more modding than just throwing some paint on something. I guess painting a radiator really isn't modding too much. I kind of would just consider this restoring a radiator because it was definitely an old radiator. It's still got the dents and whatnot, but uh, just making even old hardware look good with a coat of paint. Like I said, it really isn't that difficult. I spent like an hour or so sanding it, maybe two hours sanding it, and it's pretty easy to paint something. So really not too much time put into it, and it really kind of made the radiator come back to life in my opinion. It looks Besides the bent fins, it looks new. <laughs> so once you have fans on it, really, you won't be able to tell. My roommate actually uh, dropped a knife on it right here. So that channel got really dented, and I actually thought the radiator was dead. But there's uh, distilled water in there now, and it doesn't leak. So I'm hoping he didn't kill it. It seems like it's still alive. But this radiator's had a rough life already, I guess. Hopefully I can get it to better use soon. Which is actually kind of what I could start talking about. The next stream, if you can see on the sidebar there, is uh, modding with aluminum. So I think I showed on Monday night that I got the bender. Or I, I shared a picture this week, too. I, I at least tried it with bending some steel, but I mean, picking up some aluminum. Um, so I'm going to start bending aluminum with that. Or it's not a metal bender. It's a sheet metal brake is what they call it. But same thing. You bend metal with it. It's a brake. Uh, and it seems to work pretty well for 
how much money I spent on it. So I'm going to start trying to mod more with aluminum. Yum metal, yeah, dude. So it should be fun. I've mainly just done acrylic work for the most part. I mean, I've used some pieces of aluminum or steel in the past, but bending it is new for me, and I plan on making a test bench out of it. I'm having Jeremy uh, down in the mod shop. He actually, I think he already did laser cut my motherboard tray for that. So I have... A lot more content coming up on that, which will involve some metalwork. So Monday will be kind of just all about working with that. I'll be doing some bending over the weekend, and I'll just show you guys kind of how I plan to work with it. Painting it kind of goes the same way as I kind of talked about tonight, but I can cover more on that too. So if anybody doesn't have any more questions... Oh, wait, we have a question in Discord, I think. There are companies that make custom skins for consoles and controllers and phones, like D-Brand skins, but where can I find the same kind of thing to cover my desk or PC case, something that's cut to fit? Hey, that's a tough question. He's asking if there's any vinyls for, like, you know, if you have, like, a laptop or a console, they'll make a vinyl to, to cover it, and self-etching. Yeah, that is true. I, I'll have to pick up some self-etching primer. Rod would definitely know. Unless it's Bob on the Twitch, but I, I think it's Rod. <laughs> but Bob knows the most about paint, doesn't he? Come on. He should be hanging out tonight. So I was actually going to tell this guy about... Um, what is it again? It's, um, it's Rod. <laughs> what, has he made you start doing all the painting now, or what? That's not fair. I thought that was his job. He's supposed to be the best at painting. Matt, actually, from Cable Mod, used to work for a painting company, so he's actually a pretty good uh, person to talk to about paint. He always does pretty well with his. I don't know where he's at tonight, but he probably would have a few comments. Um, oh, yeah, hydro dipping. That's another form of painting, I guess. That's kind of crazy. You guys should definitely go and watch videos on YouTube if you ever want to get into hydro dipping. You can kind of do it at home. Um, I don't think you always get the best results, but Bob is a master and will tell you to read the PDF from the paint. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, I'll have to talk to Bob about painting then. <laughs> painting is a science, not an art. I don't know about that. I feel like it does take a little bit of art. Does does um Rod do any, or I mean, does Bob do any uh, airbrushing? I heard somebody talk about that in cable monitors or whatever, and I guess airbrushing is pretty easy to get into, but I feel like I don't have the, the skill set for airbrushing something. I mean, unless I was just painting it with an airbrush, but that'd be really small stuff. But... As far as painting goes, I'm not any kind of master, but I kind of just try to teach people what uh, is really readily available and cheap. So if you do want to get into modding, uh, it's really not too difficult. Uh, you don't need like an actual booth. You don't need a, an actual paint gun. Obviously, those things are way better for painting. I would love to. And air, yeah, airbrushing is an art, definitely. I would, I would love to get a booth set up, and I've always planned to at some point, um, because a booth and a, and a gun really isn't, like, I've looked into it, it's really not too bad. I guess if you don't have an air compressor, you might be spending a bit more, but otherwise it's, like, less than 200 bucks usually to get at least a budget paint set up as far as using an actual air gun uh, for painting, which is a lot better than a rattle can. But for those of us who really can't afford that or, you know, fit that into wherever they live, a rattle cane usually works pretty well, like I said, if you can keep it out of the wind and you can keep it at a decent temperature, uh, you shouldn't really have too many issues with getting a decent finish with um, spray paint. You can at least make five foot mods, you know, the ones that look good from five feet away. <laughs> no, they're, they're not that bad. Um, so, if you guys do ever have any questions about just basic getting into mods, like I said, I never try to be someone that acts like I know everything about modding. Someone like Rod, though, who's chilling in chat, definitely knows a lot about modding. 
but either way, you guys can find me on Discord or Facebook. You can always ask me questions about it. If anything, we've got people like Rod around who are masters at this, and if I can't answer anything for you, then we can always talk to friendly and helpful people like like him. They're, they're hanging out everywhere around here. We got them in the Facebook group as well. So check out the Facebook group. That's linked. I suppose I could change to a face game here. But uh, the oh, I guess that's the Facebook page, but the group is the PPC's Builders Club. Some of you might be watching it there. <laughs> Rod, we're all still learning, so you can't use that as an excuse. You're still way ahead of a lot of us there, Rod, uh, that are in the community. But we appreciate you, and that's why we love your work. Yeah, 20F isn't terrible. And honestly, like, if you do live someplace cold like I do, if at all possible, just paint it quick outside. If it's, like, not windy or snowy, if that's what the weather's like. Uh, and bring it just back inside. Painting it outside, just standing out there for five minutes while you paint it, isn't going to ruin the paint job. Uh, just make sure it stays warm for a while uh, before you start painting it again. Uh, but other than that, like I said, hit us up in Discord. It's right up here, the link. Uh, I could post it in chat, I suppose, for all you guys. We're always hanging out. Um, we can answer any questions, like I said, about just modding or water cooling and anything related to PPCs. I'm always happy to help you guys. If you guys got any orders or questions about the website, can't find a part, you know, have sent us or if we sent you a wrong part, you know, hit me up. I'm always willing to help resolve any issues. I appreciate everyone that did come out to the stream tonight, though. It's a little bit lonely in chat tonight, but uh, next time, Monday at 7 p.m., I'll be here again, same place, same time, so you guys can check out our Discord, hop in there. Like I said, tonight I was hanging out in voice, and Unsweet Ice Tea stopped by, so I'm always willing to hang out and chat with you guys if you guys want to talk about water cooling or modding. Uh, just love the passion of all things related to PCs, so... With that, I hope you guys can all go out and share your passion as well and make everyone appreciate all the great work you do because I appreciate it. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys later. I'll see you Monday night, and I'll just see you around the web otherwise. Have a good one, guys.